heat chapter 3 class 7 heat heat is a form of energy that flows from hot objects to cold objects it is measured in units like calories or joules the study of heat and its transformation is called thermodynamics heat can cause substances to change state e.g from solid to liquid or gas heat is transferred through three main mechanisms conduction convection and radiation the SI unit for measuring heat is the joule, J. Heat is essential for many natural processes and human activities. The amount of heat a substance can hold depends on its specific heat capacity. Heat plays a crucial role in weather patterns, climate, and global energy balance. Efficient heat management is essential for various technologies, such as engines, refrigeration, and heating systems. Hot and Cold Hot and cold are terms used to describe the relative temperature of objects or substances. Hot. When something is hot, it has a high temperature. It feels warm to the touch and can cause a sensation of discomfort if it is too hot. Heat is a form of energy that can be transferred from hot objects to colder ones. Cold. Cold is the opposite of hot. It refers to a low temperature, and objects or substances that are cold feel cool or even chilly to the touch. Cold can also cause discomfort, especially in extreme temperatures. Temperature Temperature is a measure of the hotness or coldness of an object or substance. It is usually measured using scales like Celsius or Fahrenheit. Thermoregulation Humans and many other organisms have the ability to regulate their body temperature, keeping it within a narrow range to maintain proper bodily functions. Expansion and Contraction When objects are heated, they generally expand, and when they are cooled, they contract. This property is often used in engineering and construction applications. Heat Transfer Hot objects transfer heat to colder objects until they reach a thermal equilibrium, where the temperatures are equal. Personal Preference what feels hot or cold to an individual can vary based on personal preference, acclimatization, and cultural norms. Seasons The Earth experiences variations in temperature throughout the year due to its axial tilt, resulting in different seasons characterized by hot summers and cold winters in many regions. Hot and cold water Water at different temperatures is used for various purposes, such as warm water for bathing and cold water for drinking or cooling purposes. Hot and cold foods. Some foods are enjoyed hot, such as soups and hot beverages, while others are preferred cold, like ice cream and salads. Overall, hot and cold are fundamental concepts related to temperature and play a significant role in our daily lives, affecting our comfort, behavior, and choices. Measuring temperature. Measuring temperature is the process of quantifying the hotness or coldness of an object or substance. Temperature is a fundamental physical property and is crucial in various fields, including science, industry, weather forecasting, and everyday life. Several instruments are commonly used to measure temperature. Thermometer Thermometers are the most traditional and commonly used devices to measure temperature. They consist of a temperature-sensitive element, such as mercury or alcohol, enclosed in a glass tube. When the temperature changes, the liquid inside the tube expands or contracts, indicating the temperature on a calibrated scale. Digital Thermometer Digital thermometers use electronic sensors to measure temperature. They provide a digital readout of the temperature and are often faster and more accurate than traditional thermometers. Infrared Thermometer Infrared IR, thermometers measure temperature without direct contact. They work by detecting the Thermal radiation emitted by the object being measured. Infrared thermometers are particularly useful for measuring the temperature of distant or hard to reach objects, as well as for non contact measurements in medical and industrial applications. Thermocouple A thermocouple is a temperature sensor that consists of two different metal wires joined at one end. When the junction is exposed to a temperature gradient, it generates a voltage proportional to the temperature difference, allowing temperature measurement. Resistance Temperature Detector RTD, RTDs are temperature sensors made of pure platinum or other metals. Their electrical resistance changes with temperature, and this change is used to determine the temperature accurately. Thermistors 
Thermistors are temperature sensitive resistors with resistance that changes significantly with temperature. They are commonly used in electronic devices for temperature measurement and control. Bimetallic strip A bimetallic strip consists of two different metal strips bonded together. As the temperature changes, the metals expand or contract at different rates, causing the strip to bend. This bending motion is used to indicate temperature changes in certain devices like thermostats. Each type of temperature measurement instrument has its advantages and is suited to different applications. The choice of the right temperature measuring device depends on factors such as accuracy requirements, temperature range, response time, and the environment in which it will be used. Accurate temperature measurements are essential for various purposes, from maintaining comfortable indoor environments to critical industrial processes and scientific research. Reading a thermometer Reading a thermometer is a straightforward process used to determine the temperature of an object or the surrounding environment. Thermometers can be of various types, including traditional mercury or alcohol thermometers, digital thermometers, or infrared thermometers. Here's a general guide on how to read each type. Reading a traditional mercury or alcohol thermometer. A. Hold the thermometer by the top end, opposite to the bulb or temperature sensing part. B. Gently shake the thermometer if it is a mercury type, so the mercury level falls below the scale. C. Place the bulb or the sensing part of the thermometer in the area you want to measure the temperature. D. Wait for a few seconds or until the mercury or alcohol stabilizes and the temperature reading becomes clear. A. Look at the scale and note the temperature value where the top of the liquid level intersects. This value indicates the temperature. Reading a digital thermometer. A. Turn on the digital thermometer by pressing the power button if it has an on-off switch. B. Position the temperature sensor, usually a metal probe, in the area you want to measure the temperature. C. Wait for the temperature reading to stabilize or until the display stops changing. This usually takes a few seconds. D. Read the temperature value displayed on the digital screen. Some digital thermometers also offer memory functions to store previous readings. Reading an infrared thermometer. A. Aim the infrared thermometer at the object or surface whose temperature you want to measure. B. Press the measurement button or trigger, if it has one, to take the reading. C. Some infrared thermometers have a laser pointer to help you target the specific area you want to measure, but the laser itself does not measure temperature. D. Read the temperature value displayed on the infrared thermometer screen. When reading a thermometer, it's essential to be mindful of the temperature scale used, Celsius or Fahrenheit, and ensure that you understand the range of temperatures represented on the scale. Additionally, follow the manufacturer's instructions for proper use and calibration of the thermometer to ensure accurate readings. Properly reading a thermometer allows us to monitor temperature changes accurately, which is essential for various purposes, from personal health monitoring to scientific research and industrial processes. Laboratory Thermometer A laboratory thermometer is a specialized temperature measuring instrument used in scientific laboratories and research settings. It is designed to provide precise and accurate temperature readings for various applications. Laboratory thermometers are typically more accurate and have a narrower temperature range compared to common household thermometers. Here are some key features and characteristics of a laboratory thermometer. Temperature range. Laboratory thermometers are available in various temperature ranges, depending on the specific needs of the laboratory or experiment. Some may cover a wide range of temperatures, while others may focus on a specific narrow range, such as sub-zero temperatures or high temperature measurements. Scale. Laboratory thermometers commonly use the Celsius, degree C, or Kelvin, K scale. In some cases, the Fahrenheit degree F scale might also be used, but it is less common in scientific settings. Mercury-free options. Many modern laboratory thermometers are designed to be mercury-free, as mercury poses potential health and environmental hazards. Instead, these thermometers may use alcohol or other safe alternatives. Calibration. Laboratory thermometers undergo regular calibration to ensure accuracy. 
Calibration involves comparing the thermometer's readings to a standard reference thermometer, and adjustments are made if necessary. Glass or digital Laboratory thermometers can come in both traditional glass and digital formats. Glass thermometers may have a liquid, such as alcohol, inside that expands or contracts with temperature changes, while digital thermometers use electronic sensors for temperature measurement and provide digital readouts. Precision Laboratory thermometers are known for their high precision, often with graduations marked at small intervals, allowing scientists to record temperature changes with great accuracy. Immersion length The length of the temperature sensing part, usually a bulb or a probe, varies, and some laboratory thermometers have an extended immersion length to measure temperature within liquids or semi-solids effectively. Specialized thermometers Certain laboratory thermometers are designed for specific applications, such as measuring the temperature of liquids in a beaker or testing the freezing point of substances accurately. Handling and Storage Laboratory thermometers require careful handling to prevent damage or contamination. They are usually stored in protective cases or racks when not in use. Laboratory thermometers play a crucial role in various scientific experiments, research, and quality control processes. Their accuracy and reliability are essential for obtaining precise and consistent results, making them indispensable tools in laboratory settings. Transfer of Heat Heat transfer refers to the movement of thermal energy from one object or substance to another due to a temperature difference. Heat transfer occurs through three main mechanisms. Conduction Conduction is the transfer of heat through a solid material or between objects in direct physical contact. In this process, heat energy flows from regions of higher temperature to regions of lower temperature. The particles in the warmer region vibrate more vigorously and transfer some of their energy to neighboring particles with lower energy, thus spreading heat throughout the material. Metals are good conductors of heat, while materials like wood or insulation are poor conductors. Convection Convection is the transfer of heat through a fluid, liquid or gas, by the movement of the fluid itself. When a fluid is heated, it becomes less dense and rises, while the cooler, denser fluid sinks. This creates a circulating flow called a convection current, which transfers heat from hotter regions to colder regions. Convection plays a significant role in processes like weather patterns, ocean currents, and the heating and cooling of rooms through forced air systems. Radiation Radiation is the transfer of heat in the form of electromagnetic waves, without requiring any medium for propagation. All objects emit thermal radiation in the form of infrared radiation, which can be absorbed by other objects or surfaces. Dark and rough surfaces are better absorbers and emitters of thermal radiation than light and smooth surfaces. For example, the sun's heat reaches the earth through radiation, and thermal radiation from a fireplace warms the surrounding area. Heat transfer is an essential concept in various fields, including engineering, meteorology, thermodynamics, and everyday life. Understanding how heat moves and can be controlled is crucial for designing efficient heating and cooling systems, studying weather patterns, and managing energy consumption. Proper heat transfer is essential for ensuring comfort, safety, and effective functioning of numerous technological applications and natural processes. Kinds of clothes we wear in summer and winter. The types of clothes we wear in summer and winter are influenced by the weather conditions and temperature during each season. Here are some common examples of clothes typically worn in summer and winter. Summer clothing. T-shirts. Lightweight and breathable. T-shirts are a staple for summer, providing comfort and allowing air circulation. Tank tops. Sleeveless tops that keep you cool and are perfect for hot weather. Shorts. Short pants that provide ventilation and are ideal for warm days. Sundresses. Flowy and lightweight dresses that offer comfort and style in the heat. Skirts. Light, airy skirts that provide ease of movement and are suitable for summer outings. Flip-flops. Open-toed sandals that are easy to slip on and keep feet cool. Sunglasses. Essential for protecting the eyes from the sun's glare and harmful UV rays. Hats and caps. Wide-brimmed hats or caps that shield the face from the sun. Winter clothing. Sweaters. Warm and cozy sweaters made of wool or other insulating materials. 
jackets, coats, heavy outerwear designed to provide warmth in colder temperatures. Scarves, wraps around the neck to protect from cold winds and add extra warmth. Gloves, insulated gloves to keep hands warm and protected from the cold. Long pants, full-length trousers or jeans to keep legs covered and insulated. Boots, sturdy and insulated boots to protect feet from snow in cold weather. Beanies, close-fitting caps that cover the head and ears for added warmth. Thermal underwear, thin, insulating undergarments that provide an extra layer of warmth. These are general examples, and clothing choices may vary depending on the climate of the specific region. In both summer and winter, it's essential to dress appropriately to stay comfortable and protected from extreme weather conditions.